The next thing we need to do is get set up with our terminal client. So uh, you may have noticed me using this kind of blue one where it looks a little bit different than uh, the one that you might have. Um, and that's because it's not the default one. So uh, I'm on a Mac here and by default Mac has this application called terminal and uh, it looks a little something like this and you can actually configure the colors and stuff like that. However, um, there is a whole bunch of features that are sort of missing and it's uh, it's pretty basic uh, for what you can do with it. So if you're on a Mac, most Mac users upgrade to something called iTerm2. Um, now iTerm2 is a, they call it a replacement for the terminal. Um, and it's just an app that you launch rather than launching the terminal one, you go ahead and launch iTerm. So uh, it does all kinds of really nice stuff like split pane. So uh, if you're running, like maybe you're running a grunt or a gulp task, or you're running a server and you got node running in one, uh, you can find yourself having a few things open at once. Um, and it's nice to be able to have uh, them all visible at once. So it's got split panes, it's got hotkey where you can Put it anywhere you want it's got this really cool um thing where you can just overlay the terminal instantly over top of whatever you're doing so uh, maybe you're devving something and you want to just quickly bring up the terminal and just kind of overlay it over top of everything uh, you'll be able to see what's going on it's got search and autocomplete and mouseless copy and i won't go over all the little things um essentially where where it comes in handy is that yeah, you find yourself being uh, becoming a power user in the terminal and uh, you wonder, oh, it'd be nice if they had this little feature, if this little feature. And generally, iTerm2 has all of those little great features. So um, definitely get set up with that. It's got other things like bells and whistles and uh, and whatnot to alert you when, when things are, are up and running. Um, if you're on Linux, you probably don't need to have this talk because you're on Linux. You probably spend a lot of your time in the terminal. Um, if you're on Windows, um, you actually need to use something called SigWin. So um, what we are using here is all what we call a Unix-based uh, thing. So OS X is Unix-based, Linux is Unix-based, however Windows is not Unix-based. And uh, all of the terminal stuff that we do here, especially all the terminal stuff that you do on a server that you may get from uh, DigitalOcean or whatever it is that you're using, they're all Linux based. So you need to be able to use the commands that are Unix based rather than the commands that are Windows based. So uh, go ahead and download SigWin. I'm not going to show you how to do that just because there's tons of tutorials on YouTube uh, on how to install SigWin and get that set up. So um, <clears throat> once we're in here, what you can do is uh, just open up your preferences. You just go to iTerm preferences and it'll pop open your preferences one. Um, and just take a look around here and, and, and see what you've, you can find. Um, you've got different things like you can change the style of the tab, uh, unified, idiom. I like the metal look here. Uh, tab position, you can put them on the bottom. You can put them on the top. Uh, you can hide the tab bar when there's only one. Uh, show tabs, etc., etc. All kinds of cool stuff. Um, there's different profiles. So uh, if you have multiple people on the same machine, I don't know who does that anymore. But uh, if you have different things that you like set up, uh, one example is that I do a lot of teaching. So I have my like one profile for uh, when I'm just working at home. But when I'm teaching, I'm on a projector, and the color scheme and, and the size and the fonts and everything. Uh, need to be a little bit different when I'm teaching because the projector is not that great of a quality. Uh, so in that case, I might have two profiles to, to switch between the two. Keys, you can uh, put all kinds of little nice little keyboard shortcuts, just like you pimp out your Swab text or your Vim or your Atom or whatever it is that you're using. Uh, you can do that as well in here. Um, things like pointers, arrangement on the screen, etc., etc. All kinds of really nice things that you can do there. So Go ahead and install SigWin or go ahead and install iTerm2 um, and just get rid of your terminal on your dock. You can get rid of it uh, and make sure that you have iTerm uh, ready to go for all of these exercises. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you check out my book and video series, Sublime Text Power User, at sublimetextbook.com. Use coupon code COMMANDLINE for 10 bucks off. As always, make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter, at WestBoss, W-E-S-B-O-S. -S. Talk to you again soon.